Hi guys, this is Smart Physics tutorial for the rectangular current loop. Okay, so we have a loop. It has width and height is known, and it's in a magnetic field and an angle theta. Okay. All right. So these are the known stuff: h, the height, width, and the angle and the current and then the magnetic field which is pointing up cool okay so the first question is asking what is the ux the magnetic moment in the x direction so ux so u in general is um, i a n N is for number of the turns for the loop, and A is the area of the loop, I is the current that's going through the loop. Okay? So they want the x direction, so there must be an angle here. So let's see. Here's this thing here. Bad drawing. Alright, so this is the theta. And um, the dipole moment, if the current is going this way, and we curl our fingers, so if we're looking at it from up, this, this is a plane, so the dipole moment will be going up for this one. So we curl our fingers with the current, and the dipole moment is going up. So in this case, we curl our finger with the current, and it's going this way. So this is the dipole moment. It's going this way. This is the U. Okay? Um, <clears throat> so let's find the angle here in the X direction. Okay? So, if this is theta, this is going to be theta, and this is going to be 90 minus theta. Since this is perpendicular to this here. Okay? So, just take the cosine of this um, magnetic moment. So, it's I, A, and the N is just one turn. So, we can forget this one. And cosine of 90 minus theta. Cool. All right, so number two is asking, um, what is the UY, the component of the magnetic moment vector of the loop? So we need this guy now. And actually they want like direction of it, and this is the direction of this guy is X minus, you can see that here. This is the component of it, and it's pointing in the X direction. If we say that this is X and this is Y. Right, so the y here is pointing in the y positive. So u y is equal to i a. We can uh, forget the n here because it's only one turn two. So it's sine of ninety minus theta. Okay, and it's going to be in the y positive. Cool. So number three is asking um, where is the torque, the z component of the torque exerted in the loop. All right, so the torque, the torque is equal to U cross with B, which is the same as U B sine of the angle between them. Let's call it phi. We still don't know it. All right, so this is the torque for this guy, and let's find the angle now. So it's got to be the angle between the B and the U, the dipole moment. All right, so the magnetic field is pointing up. So here it's up. Cool. All right, so what's the angle between them? It's this guy. It's the theta. Because this is 90 minus theta, and this is also um, uh, 90 degrees between those, so this got to be the theta. So it's u, and u here is the, the same, which is i, a, n and is one also I don't know why I wrote it again and then times b times the sine of the theta this is the theta that they gave us here okay cool so question number four is asking oh by the way um, let's see the torque here what's the direction of this torque so um, here is the u so U cross B, so here's the U, 
you put my fingers on it so you cross B cross B and your thumb is pointing into the page so you cross B you um, B wow um, your thumb is pointing into the page okay so it's the Z negative okay all right so number four is asking um, what is the force exerted on the piece BC so BC where is BC here BC this is the force um, this is the piece so the force is equal to um, what was it um, I L cross B okay so I L cross B let's look at the cross product on this one let's see so um, if you look at it here oh, no you can't see it actually like there's the line here this is okay this is the piece BC okay okay and uh, the magnetic field is going oh, I can't do this magnetic field is going up and this is the piece okay so it's always perpendicular to this okay it's always perpendicular to it so we can say that the I L B sine theta and the theta here will be 90 degrees so we can say that this is 1 okay so I we got I and L is just the um, the length of the piece we're looking at which is BC which is H okay times to be cool it's simple right doesn't need any direction no no, it doesn't need any direction. Alright, so um, number five, what is the direction of the force that exerted on segment BC? Yeah, they're asking. <laughs> it's along the X direction. Okay. It's along the X direction. It's going into the X direction. Alright, cool. X positive. Alright, um, I hope this helped and good luck.